Hi viewers, uh, today in this AWS tutorial, uh, let's discuss one of the you know, very interesting topics that is <coughs> CloudFront. So you can search here CloudFront. Yeah, if you haven't created any uh, cloud front then this is how your screen should look like but before uh, it lets understand why we need this cloud front so this is the world map in my screen and in this map uh, let's check uh, one example let's say you hosted a video in your website in India and in Australia someone need to you know see that uh, video or any picture so that will going to cast through that will going to access through the whole you know it will going to pass through whole network and it, every time it will going to create a latency so to minimize that latency there is a uh, you know, cloud front edge, elasticity edge is there. So, what will happen in Australia? The first user who will going to access that video, that user definitely going to suffer a, a millisecond, you know, delay or pain to access that object from India to Australia. But the second user get the advantage and that that particular object is being cached adds cache in this australia region only so the second user when they're trying to the same access to the same object the second user's request so don't pass through the whole sea to get it from the india where the website or the video had been you know uploaded so the second user will get the nearest critical path which is already you know uh, edge location aws edge location through the cloud front so that is the advantages so that is the reason we should understand the reason why is cloud front so this is a fresh beginning and i'm just going to create a distribution so in the distribution there is a web and rtmp this is a web distribution a speed up the distribution of the static and the dynamic content like html and the you know all the graphics but the rtmp distribution you know it's on the cloud front edge location you must store the media files you know also and the streaming files so that is the main difference between the web and the RTMP. Let's discuss about the web first. So I'm going to hit the click button. So there are lots of things that are in this great uh, distribution. Let's uh, uh, you know understand a very high level. So let's say this is the origin domain. So these are the if you remember these are the um, bucket at create. Let me show you the buckets here. If you go to the S3, RAS 2018, RAS 2018 1, RAS 2018 2. Go to the cloud front, create the distribution, get started the way, and if you click here, RAS 18, RAS 18, RAS 18 1, and RAS 18 2. So let's say RAJ in one. I want to select here. And this is the origin ID. Origin ID is always it's contained the unique one. If you want more information, you can click this information button. Here you can see the value lets you distinct multiple origin in the same distribution from the another. The distribution for each origin must be unique within that. 
so restrict to the bucket access let's say yes create a new identification if you have the already existing one use the one already you know let the AWS will go to create a new identity so I, I wanted to make it very simple so I'm not you know manipulate any of the complex configuration so this is the pet by default it's a star wildcard but uh, it's a http and https both are several but for my case we are going to you know check for the http to https if the request comes from but https only in that case you will have to setting up the um, ssl setting all those methods put post and delete everything is available for your selection according to your requirement these are the milliseconds this is a by default ttl milliseconds this is smooth stream streaming use only US Canada Europe what edge we want to use use all edge location best performance for the best performance you know throughout the globe all the you know continent ads will go to case the distribution this is the SSL certificate by default it's cloud.net along with the wildcard but if you have some customization name um, customization domain name like this one example.com if you have your customization name so in that case you can choose your own and you need to you know import the certificate and it's finally it's going to enable if you hit the create Sometimes it will going to take a little time. You can see by clicking the distribution uh, dashboard, it's in progress now. It will take 10 to 10 minutes, or sometimes lesser than this. Uh, once it's enabled, will proceed and this is the domain name and domain name is not that user friendly it's uh, you know a alphanumeric uh, value along with the cloud dot and this will be the our id so once uh, it's uh, you know a state has um, in progression has completed we will try to access the cloud okay so now the our web has been deployed successfully it took uh, 15 to 18 minutes for me to complete its uh, in progress state now it's in enabled mm. so from here if you want to see the settings then this is the url through which you can access all the objects which is already available within that bucket which we have just deployed this is the origin and this is the origin name this is the access identifiers and the behavior uh, you know the pattern you can choose whether it's a you know white card star or you want to access something specific let's take an example you have the png file and do and doc file and document file so you can you know behavior you can enable Mm, also it's your requirement error page you can define your own error page customization geo restriction here um, let's say uh, for, uh, let's take an example for south africa or pakistan you want to just restrict uh, 
um, any excess comes from um, any particular region of the world. So in that case, you just need to you know add those new restrictions uh, here, and uh, that won't release on that on those particular geographical location. This is end relations and the tax. So that is how uh, a little uh, yeah, explanation about the cloud front distribution. And once you've done that, uh, if you are using a free account, do not forget to disable it, otherwise, it will be you know, included in your cost bill. Thank you.